So this is where we are so far. Uh, we have uh, two students. They are working together, uh, a CAD student and a welding student. They follow the checklist that we came up with. They were kind of the, the important things that they need to do, safety checks and things like that. They used a camera to videotape themselves using the software, setting up the table, and they were able to take a 4x8 sheet of steel, make a whole bunch of sparks happen, and they got their 4x4 four four inch block out of it, square. All right, so we just wanted to get started to see you know if this was even going to work so a lot of good things the students worked very well together uh, they were able to take good video clips my checklist was not as accurate as I thought it was I don't have access to this specific software I'm going kinda like on just what I remember the the trainer doing uh, they were actually able to cut out two of those squares uh, they were all excited when the sparks flew they had, uh, you know, the director, the principal, they had uh, Bosey's photographer there. Uh, so, yeah, it was lots of fun. So, the, the videos are not complete. We're a bunch of holes. We did get metal cut, uh, but we realized that there's a lot of fine-tuning that's needed, and that was expected. We don't want to make this a 10-year script project and never cut metal. So, the next step is going to be uh, science liaison is going to take all those videos bring them into Google Classroom put the checklist in there updated and it's not complete it's not finished even for the first lesson uh, and then we're gonna have the two students get together use Chromebooks go into the shop and see if they can make sparks happen and cut out another four inch square to see if this whole format of Chromebook, Google Classroom uh, will work. So th this is a simple picture, but very involved. There's lots of moving pieces. You know, three different Google Classrooms that have to get, you know, linked together. All kinds of stuff. So it'll it'll be a bit. Hopefully, this coming week we'll uh, start working on putting some of this up there. See if we can get Chromebooks to connect. Uh, but uh, I think the all, all the instructors, principal, director, they're all pretty excited about uh, getting this to work. My, my uh, I guess what I expect is once we get through trying that format with Google Classroom, Chromebook, seeing if we can cut another piece with students just following those directions, you know, with some assistance, uh, then we're going to sit here and ponder a little bit and see what works, what doesn't work, uh, what we're going to do a little bit different. Uh, but that's the fun part, I think. You know, kind of like the engineering process. You kind of have an idea, you give it a try, you find what works, what doesn't work, and then you adjust it and you move forward. Uh, lots of... I uh, hope this whole project works out really well because I think it's very interesting and it'll be helpful. So the plasma table, you know, there's a whole bunch of lessons that have to be done, right? So, uh, but if we can, if this format works of uh, putting in Google Classroom, Chromebooks, pushing into other teachers' curriculum type of thing, there's another, there's the vertical mill that's in the welding shop that the welding teacher, the CAD teacher, as well as a bunch of other teachers would like to have a similar type of format where they can take certain students and use it as an enrichment and have them learn to use the vertical mill uh, for their professions.